Mom's Point Honey, let's cook! To make this recipe, you're going to need beef short ribs, peach-flavored sparkling grape juice from Arbor Hill Winery, balsamic vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, one large or two medium onions, garlic, brown sugar, an orange, and a little oil. All the ingredients and a link on where to get that sparkling grape juice can be found in the description down below. Put a little oil in your pan, get it screaming hot, and then sear off the short ribs on each side. I know they're not seasoned, that's not going to matter, trust me. Meanwhile, cut up your onions. When the ribs are seared, take them out of the pan and set them aside. Quickly add the onions, reduce the heat to medium-low, and use the juices to pull up all of that fond from the bottom of the pan. A pinch of salt might help. After they've started to brown, add the garlic and give it a good stir. Once the garlic is aromatic, jack the heat back up to high and dump in the entire bottle of sparkling grape juice. The peach flavor and sweetness of this really helps make the dish. If you can't get it, you can go ahead and use some white wine, but I would use something sweet. This next step takes a while. Let it reduce by about half, then add your balsamic vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, orange zest, salt and pepper. Then cook it down until it basically becomes candy or very close to it. Over time the sauce is going to become thick, dark, bubbly syrup. You'll know it's close to done when the steam stops coming out of it. That means that you've cooked off pretty much all of the water and if you keep going you're gonna end up with caramel. That's how you know you're done. Look for that steam to stop and for it to start pulling away from the bottom of the pan with every stir. Toss the meat in the bag, add the sauce, seal it, suck out the air, and put it in the sous vide at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 48 hours. After two days, carefully pull them out of the drink, put all the liquid from the bag into a saucepan, and set the meat aside. Put the sauce on a burner on high heat, and while it's warming up, Make a slurry by adding a tablespoon of cornstarch to cold water and whisking it until smooth. Once it's boiling, add the slurry, give it a good stir, and pull it off the heat. We are ready to plate. Let's eat! Thank you for watching, everybody. Please click like down below and don't forget to subscribe.